inflatable chutes. The flight attendant just said, go, go, go. And there were probably six big firefighters at the bottom of the ramp and you jumped and slid down and whoosh, out the door. <laughs> and I just go, I'm too young to die. I'm not ready to die. And I don't want to die. There were 188 passengers and six crew members aboard the flight with only six minor injuries, as it turns out. There's no word yet on the source of that smoke. Well, sliding down an emergency chute is something passengers hope they'll never have to experience. But if that day ever comes, they can be sure those slides will get them out of the plane safely and quickly. CBS 2's Dave Malkop shows us why. The next time your flight crew explains how the slides will automatically inflate, think of American Flight 31. Grab your earplugs. And it's going to take outside ambient air and it's going to inflate that. In, in how many seconds? In about four seconds. Safety slides inflate with little or no effort. That was about four seconds, you're right. These $100,000 slides are built to last. This is what they slid down today. This slide, similar to the one you saw at LAX, is here at HRD Systems in Valencia for a patch-up and a repack. That's actually this slide right here with the bottle and a cylinder, and they're actually packing the slide up. This FAA supervised repair work costs the airline about $10,000. That's 10 grand just for inflating the slides today. What I saw in the news was actually uh, the way they're supposed to deploy. John Keyes says the problems usually start here, after the slide detaches, when it scrapes along the ramp. That's definitely not the smoothest surface. So every one to three years or so, all airline slides end up in a place like this. There's a lot of uh, engineering that goes into these little things to pack them back up and put them in that little case. So it takes only seconds to inflate the slide, but two days or more to stuff it back into the pack board assembly so it's ready for the next emergency. In Valencia, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News.